Maradona, listen at the roar that goes up whenever he finds himself in possession. He may well have created a goal. He should have done. Strunz tried to lay it across for Janke. Could have had a go for goal himself. As he did that, Lehmann had uh, come out to cut out the cross. Lovely ball from Maradona. Strunz onside, no question about that. I think it was Babel who was playing him onside. The clearance effected. The first touch of uh, delightful control from Maradona that we've seen in the second leg. So they're still looking for the natural replacement to Lothar Mateus. Lovely ball, pinged down that right-hand touch line, and Maradona is getting forward, hopefully into position. It's Janka, and that's the first of the night. I suspect we're going to see a few more. But Karsten and Janka are only too happy to score the first of the evening, and as a Bayern Munich player, Diego Maradona is only too happy to join in the celebrations. Huge, huge gaps in the Bayern Munich defence, and Janka his last goal came against Real Madrid in the Champions League semi-final gives us the first goal of the night that was Sergio the Brazilian well I'm not quite sure what he was attempting to do there but that was a giveaway and the shot beaten away by the fist of Bernd Dreyer by Hassler Thomas Hassler coming in from the left and uh, not uh, the worst effort you've ever seen. It went past Strunz and a very strange stop indeed by Bernd Dreyer. Well, Maradona may well be glad of a rest after 45 minutes exertions. Having been out of the game for so long. This is Hessler. Super strike. What a goal from Thomas Hessler. Germany a level. Well, that was a magnificent strike by any standard. And Thomas Hessler brings Germany level with a quality goal on 26 minutes. What a lovely goal it was, and he uh, made it all really with vision. Just outside, by turning inside, much too hot for inside his left hand upright, and the score again. Look, I have another go. Really fancying it in post. Well, Dreyer just did it. Really got, his, really got his shooting boots on tonight. And having treated us to one spectacular three, almost four minutes ago, he goes for goal again, and that's tipped onto the bar. Good save. That's how close it was to being number two for Thomas Hessler. Big stadium in Munich. As Mamet Scholl tries to orchestrate a move and he's into the area, is Scholl and he might slip this one through. Good stop. Scholl and Bierhoff combining instinctively and well. With people like Klinsmann and with Matthias. Going back, of course, further, people like Gerd Muller, so synonymous with this great team. And here's a chance straight away for Bayern Munich. Side netting. It would have been 2-1, they should have restored their advantage. Touch through there by uh, Torsten Fink. Michael Tarnak with the opportunity. To the side. Scored the one goal last season. Turns them uh, through the middle once more, hoping to be on the end of a cross. It might come his way this time. It's first of all to Janka, though. And a smashing shot, but smashing too high. And uh, Klinsman disappointed the ball, did not come his way again. Well, I've got plenty to say now. Oh. Good and push. Oh, lovely ball in here. This must be an opening, surely. Oh. So he's made. Oh. Good to New York. There he is now. And it's almost in, is it? To the uh, Karsten Janka juggling. And it's over the top. Oh. The target. And, uh, he's a little stunned by that, I think. 
<laughs> well, you've been out of the game for a couple of years. It all happens so quickly. You've done a night like this, probably. Might have to spell the things as he wins the final. And uh, Kingsman Cole just realising he's well out of the game at the moment as he ducked his head in there against Romolov. Mr. <laughs> Zegra plays in the English Premier League at Middlesbrough. There's a talk of Christian Carambeau from uh, Real Madrid joining them shortly. Touches inside the area. And a miss of the target again from Klinsman. Well, it's just not happening, is it? Some of these games end up as sort of 6 5, 8 7. Uh, tonight it's 1 1. And Jurgen Klinsman, with the whole net to go at, has steered it wide. Uh, the director's only too happy to show us how, to, how he did it. I think. Mateus, here we go. He's up there for it. He's looking for it. He's through. This must be the moment for Lothar and Mateus. Oh, no! I don't believe it. He doesn't believe it. Everything went according to script until the last kick of the ball. <laughs> he weren't supposed to do that. Oh dear, dear, dear! The whistling around the stadium is for the goalkeeper who came to I'd say put Mateus off. Here it was. Look, here we go. Let him through the door. One more touch wide of the goalkeeper, and it's a goal. The referee's all ready to give it. Uh, the goalkeeper goes and gets his ankle in the way. <laughs> and that is the final whistle. Well, the scoreline was totally unimportant tonight. It was all about him, and I think there was a tear there in the dressing room for Luka Mateus. As he heard the whistle, the first tear trickled down the cheek of the great player. Thomas Hessler there illuminated the occasion with a splendid goal in the first half in which Diego Maradona featured. Nice to see him in action again. The earlier goal had come from Casta and Yanka. But uh, tonight has all been about saying farewell to Luther Mateus, and they've done that in style here in the Olympic Stadium in Germany.